promise. This is Miniman94. Uh, again, as I promised, um, um, this is a video on showing you how to create a multi-boot GameCube image. So I, uh, I've included in the li in the uh, description a uh, very helpful little application. Nobody's ever gonna buy one ARR. Okay, open this up. This is personally you, there's a bunch of ones out there, but some of them don't work as well. So I just use this one. Uh, there we go. So what you're gonna want to do is, depending on what region you're in, first you're gonna want to go to region. In my case, it's USA. So, or you can do PAL, which is Europe. And you go to add ISO, and then you you search for uh, what it, uh, whatever games you have. I think that the limit's probably like three unless you shrink them, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, by the way, some some of the games when you shrink them they don't work. Let's see here. All right, first one I'll just add um, Zelda Collector's Edition because I like that. It's fun to play the old games. And why not Red Faction? Yeah, Red Faction. Um, okay, so. Like, you can add more, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to do two, just to show you how it works. Alright, so now you're going to want to, well, you can shrink them, but there's a slight chance that they may not work. If, but if you want to save space and you want to pack more games in there, shrink them, just check them like that. But for this one, I'm not going to shrink them, because they may not work. I don't want to risk that, because, look at this. I have a pitiful amount of DVDs left. Not very many. So, you can serve them, so just to be sure that it works, I'm going to just use two for right now. What you want to do is create multi-game ISO. Um, I already have a bunch of ISOs, so I'm running out of disk space, so for right now, just click that, and it'll, it'll take like five minutes to finish. Um, okay, so when you're done with that, uh, go over to Image Burn. That's the best one you can do for game burning, and it's free. And it is free, Image Burn. See it right down there. I love you. Anyways, open that up. Write a file to disk. Do I even have one? Really? No, I don't. But uh, you're gonna want to set the speed to four. Uh, depending if you have mod chip or soft mod. Soft mod, I'd stick at four. But if you have a mod chip, go to like six, I guess. You could do it a bit faster if you want to. Um, then select your image, and wherever it is, you know, just look around for it. And then, um, yeah, you should be good to go. Pop it in your Wii, and you're good to go. I'll, actually, I'll give you an example of that. Okay, and here's the almighty, you know, backup. I have two of them on there. This is just my example disc here. There's Wind Waker and Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine. You insert it into the drive, depending on whether you have a mod chip or not. You can decide on whatever. You, I mean, you can either go to the disk drive or whatnot, but I need to go to the backup channel. I'm getting that chip soon. Have it in the mail and stuff. Should be here eventually. Um, and I think my battery just died. Okay, now if you have the regular channel. If you have a mod chip, but for right now, just for educational purposes, I'll just press A and have it boot from here. And you got my wireless wave bird. They're rare nowadays since you know they're out of business or something. Oh, okay. So now go down to The Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Press A. It will look something like that. It'll have the little banner. Press A again, and a little green screen. And then it should just Go away. <clears throat> take two. Okay, take two. Let's try that again. So you go down to the game that you have. In my case, it's Wind Waker. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Okay. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, okay, now you go down to that. Press A. Little banner will pop up. Press A for auto detect. Okay, okay, last take. I think I know what went wrong. Alright, 
instead of doing auto detect this time, we're going to do NTSC because it's my region. So why for NTSC? Yeah, go me. I'm the man. All right, so yeah, that's how it works. If you have more than one, you can just choose whichever one you like. I mean, I have more than well, if you have more than two. I mean, not much of a choice selection, but whatever. Uh, I've got all the download links in there. Uh, yeah, so if you want to go, go ahead and download all that stuff that you need. Yeah, so rate, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, and uh, make more videos. Subscribe, people, come on. Show me a little love. Subscribe. I mean, love in the, the not gay way, but... I mean, like, whatever, I mean, forget it, just forget it, just, just subscribe. Anyway, so rate, subscribe, do all that, thanks for watching.